Hey, what's up? Jim here again, bringing another voice tutorial in the BE6K small series. We are going to look at um, what it looks like when you first bring up a pre configured virtual machine. And today we're going to look at the Prime uh, Collaboration Provisioning Virtual Machine. So let's just dig right in. Here we're going to, uh, I've already brought up. Uh, vSphere with all the running virtual machines these were all pre-configured by Cisco when you purchased the B6K small we're gonna go right to the Cisco Prime provisioning um, start up a console you can either hit the tab or I kinda like to launch the little uh, separate window and of course it moved to the wrong screen so let's bring that up let it get rocking and rolling there we go. And this is the very first time that this console has been opened. So you can see it says type setup. So we're going to get rolling. We're going to go through the little GUI and then we're going to show you how to actually change the IPs uh, if that's your goal initially starting this up. Alright, so I'm going to take my little head out of this and we're going to continue on. So we're going to configure uh, passwords for root, global admin, and the Linux admin accounts that um, are needed for this. Uh, this isn't a full-blown, you know, installing them from scratch. Cisco already has pre-configured this, so a lot of the settings are already there. So we're going to do root first. I'm going to type in credentials. Now it moves on to the global admin. So we'll add that in. Reset that and then it should go to one more Linux admin password. There we go. So now this thing is going to reboot uh, via the magic of video. We'll come back when it comes back up. All right, it has now loaded up, and we are going to log in uh, to the Prime Collaboration Provisioning, and we're going to actually change the IP addresses to match our subnets for this specific uh, environment. So first we're going to log in as admin. And just like in routers, enter config T mode, enter interface gig zero, and we're going to do the IP address that we need for this guy, which is going to be with the subnet mask zero. Oops, got the address, there we go. And this is actually in the 20. And, uh, okay, warning, warning from Cisco, hit yes. And then we're going to do IP default. Oop. Get out of gig mode. Default gateway. And if uh, need to change the domain name, anything like that, Host name, we could do that at this point too. Mm 
morning and hit yes. Now let's log in as root. And reboot. So we will return after the reboot is finished. And we are back after the reboot. One thing I should mention. Uh, one thing that I didn't catch before pausing the, the video was um, when you log in to admin and you do your uh, configuration for changing the IP address and the default gateway, you need to do a write mem just like in a router uh, before you do the reboot. So. Um, change your IP address with the IP add and the IP default gateway um, in configuration mode and then uh, write mem. Uh, so that's all I did differently off screen was do the write mem and, uh, and you don't actually have to go under root to reboot. You could uh, do the reboot command right from here and it will reboot as well. Uh, so that's just a little update. So now we are back and we can uh, show the interface. And we now have our new IP address there. And we should be able to access the prime provisioning tool now. And I have found that it is best to use Internet Explorer. Uh, I know there's a lot of <laughs> controversy over Internet Explorer versus Firefox and Chrome. I prefer Chrome and Firefox, but it works best in uh, Internet Explorer. So I am going to bring up Internet Explorer. go. Helps if I type in the right IP and helps if the Internet Explorer wasn't lagging. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so we do the global admin to get in. And here is our prime provisioning tool. Uh, now there is the getting started wizard that will pop up. Uh, and you more than welcome to use the getting started uh, wizard for after the, for just logging in first time if you're not changing anything. Since I've changed IPs and all this, I'm going to go through and reconfigure the virtual machines for Call Manager and Unity. And I'll be doing this just a little bit differently instead of using the Getting Started Wizard. Uh, you still can use it after you initially configure the other devices, or the virtual machines rather. I choose to set up my standard partitions, calling search spaces, things that I use uh, for a build and then I will come in here and synchronize with prom. So we'll be showing you that after the uh, virtual machines are configured. Now it is going to show these are the pre-configured host names and devices that were in uh, the BE6K small that came from Cisco uh, and we'll just be getting rid of those we can go over and go into maintenance mode. And 
and then we can go over to our infrastructure and we can remove these devices at this point. So that will disappear as soon as it refreshes. And we can enter back out of our exit maintenance mode. So now those are cleared up and we'll be able to, we can also remove this main domain. Uh, when we come back and uh, start prime provisioning after our VMs are configured, um, we can uh, remove this and create our new domain uh, for getting ready for provisioning. So we're now up with the prime provisioning tool and ready to go in with our virtual machines. So I would like to thank you for watching. Uh, this uh, tutorial on the BE6K Prime Collaboration Provisioning. Uh, we went through and set up uh, initial configuration for it. We changed the IP address to match our environment and we got access um, for the first time into the GUI. So next time we'll be going through and um, configuring what I call my standard config on call manager. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and share. Thank you.